Hi everyone, my name is Katie. Welcome back to my channel. It is February and as a contemporary romance writer, I decided to capitalize on that and do a little like romance couple type video. So I had put on Twitter, not Twitter, Instagram, asking you guys your favorite couples in books and in TV and movies and like why you like those types of couples. So we're going to dive into some tropes and the couple types and kind of just like explore and analyze why we like that and just kind of celebrate these couples that we've come to love. So in books, this is what you guys said. We have Megan and Ash from Iron Fae. I have not read that one. I haven't read a few of these or seen some of these shows, but I'm just gonna throw these out there because y'all said them. So Vin and Eland from Mistborn. I still, I need, that's on my list, I promise. <laughs> Jude and Cardin from The Cruel Prince. Reese. Rysand and Feyre from Akatar, the series, Simon and Emily from Well Met, Adrian and Nova from Renegades, Finnegan and Evangeline from the Loomis Here Chronicles, Jamie and Landon from A Walk to Remember, they are the cutest, Magnus and Alec from the Shadowhunter series, um, that was mine. <laughs> They're not my baby fave, but they are one of my favorites. And Alex and Henry from Red, White, and Royal Blue. Um, I guess, well, I'll just go through the list and then um, talk about why these characters work. And in the comments below, let me know your favorite couples and their, like, personality types and why they work for you. So going into TV and movies, we have Lorelai and Luke from Gilmore Girls. Yes. Killian and Emma from Once Upon a Time, I absolutely love them as well. Um, I'm gonna totally butcher this, but Mitsuha and Saki from Your Name, Violet and Gilbert from Violet Evergarden, I haven't seen that one, Agent 47 and Nika Boro Boronina, Agent 47, <laughs> Belle and the Beast from Beauty and the Beast, Chuck and Sarah from the show Chuck, they were really cute, um, Haley and Nathan from One Tree Hill, they had a great dynamic. Going back to Chuck and Sarah, I was absolutely unhappy with how long it took them to get together. Like, I understood they were doing that for the show purposes, but I hate when shows do that. Anyways, um, Geralt, I don't even know how to say his name. Is it Geralt or Geralt and Yennefer from The Witcher? I'm only on, like, season, oh, season. I'm on, like, episode two or three, I think, so I haven't quite, I, like, just met Yennefer, so... Um, Jessica and Aubrey from Demon in My View. I have not watched that. Or Grissom, Grissom, Grissom and Sarah from CSI. It's not my cup of tea either. So that's the list that you guys gave me. Um, there are probably like a thousand more I could think of, especially, I was like shocked I didn't get more Sarah J Mass answers, but I know a lot of people have issues with her couples as well. So, um, so a lot of the tropes you guys liked overwhelmingly was enemies to lovers. Totally understand that. It's a lot, really, really fun trope to have that tension and like bickering. Um, and then, you know, fall for each other and especially when they're like attempting to not like the other person but they have those feelings and that's totally how I think like Jude and Cardin even were because they're like I hate that I like you like he was even he's even said that one of the things was like I hate that I like you <laughs> we have friends to lovers which is a super cute trope uh fake dating which I absolutely love I'm putting it in my book that was from Nano um slow burn but with mutual pining and that like i get it but it aggravates me because i'm just like come on get together come on but i totally get it um i got one that was annoying each other good naturedly while still being a hundred percent devoted and i think that's a really fun dynamic it helps like keep the humor and like the fun I guess in the relationship so what I really saw with a lot of these couples was how opposite they are where one like uh, Luke and Lorelai one is cheery one is grumpy same with a walk to remember it's kind of like the good girl with the bad boy Reese and Feyre they're just like power couples I don't know that they're opposite so much there's a lot of couples too that just complement each other um, and even like if I'm thinking of Jude and Carl in, like they have similar um, violent tendencies but I read the stories the Elfheim this one how the king of Elfheim learned to hate stories and Cardin was even like this girl is bloodthirstier than me I think <laughs> like so I think he kind of helps like tone her down maybe Magnus and Alec like 
I loved their relationship. I think they worked because um, they were both just like mutually um, loyal and helpful and they just, oh my gosh, they, they just helped each other so much. <laughs> um, and they were just cute about it. They were like so cutesy. And Alex and Hen Henry and Red, White and Royal Blue were also hysterical. Um, I like the humor. I love when couples have matching humor like that. It makes it really fun banter wise, which is what I put in my nano novel as well. And I'm hoping it's like not like too much. We had a lot and especially in fantasy where your characters are at odds with each other or even on opposite sides of um, the like clans or politics or whatever, but somehow either have to work together or um, you know, they learn something about either side that has them questioning their side and then they kind of work together and I find that more so in fantasy than I do contemporary, but even like in Project Emma, my two people were thrown together in an assignment that for romance, <laughs> they have a thing that like, it's called the adhesion and it's kind of like a beat where they're forced to be together and they won't be able to be separated until like the end. So that's kind of what I think about even when I think at odds but had to work together. Um, there's a lot of like type A and type B out there and I think that's a real good balance too. And I was joking with my friend Stephanie about, it was Jude and Cardin and then one other, I forgot which other couple she said, but it was basically like, it broke it down to sharp blades hiding pain but with mutual understanding. And I think that's like a key one out there right now too. And like when you think of like Sunshine Grump, there's also that one that's like um, like bites on the outside but is like crying on the inside, you know? Um, and then there's like Cinnamon Roll Boys that everyone likes writing about and um, Stabby Girls. <laughs> I think that one's one. And Adrian and Nova would be a good one for the like on opposite sides. I mean, she's kind of like a spy almost, but she has to kind of double cross, double team. What is that word? Anyway, she has to play for both sides. And so that's a very big battle for her. While she likes Adrian, she knows she's ultimately going to hurt him whenever she has to like betray him or whatever for her side. So, and I like when you take someone like Nathan, who's kind of more not like bad boy, but you know, um, Nathan, <laughs> and you throw a Haley at him and she like tones him down and helps him get more like centered and um, starts like healing him basically. But I just love when couples like make each other better, make each other stronger and they become like two individual forces that like unite as one like ultimate force. And I find that I like that in a lot of groups as well, which is why I love Sarah J Mass's books for the Night Court or for Throne of Glass, their whole group and even the cadre like um, there's just, I love the group dynamics too. But yeah, I think there's different types of couples that work and it depends on the story, but I would love to know what y'all think works. If you like two similar people getting together, two total opposite people getting together, what your favorite trope is to read about and to write about. I'm going to be doing a little series, <laughs> it's not a series, it's one video with a bunch of stuff in it about um, how to create that opposites in your story with your characters, the tension, how to pick an interesting love interest, and how to write a great uh, romance book that's not predictable. So look out for that video. It's coming next week and I hope y'all enjoyed this one. I just wanted to have a fun little kind of booktube-ish video and analyze characters a little bit. But again, let me know all your thoughts down below and I will see y'all in the next video.